internet, we both know why you're here. This look requires really just two colors and some brown and black eyeshadow. To start off, I'm using this fluffy brush. It's like a fluffy, like a blush brush by Made You Look. And I'm dipping into white Marilyn Paradise paint. I decided to use a fluffy brush with this instead of something like a foundation brush because I wanted it to be kind of patchy looking and I didn't want to have a single smooth surface. After I completely covered myself with that, then I went ahead and I used silver paint on top of it. The reason for the layering is that I didn't want this really powerful silver shade, just like as you're applying the silver paint on top of the white with your fluffy brush, it kind of mixes them as you apply them. So that way you kind of get like this gray sort of stony color with a little bit of shimmer to it. And that's what I was going for. So then I'm using this nice big filbert brush. The handy thing about this filbert brush is if somebody breaks in while you're doing your body paint, you have a handy weapon. And starting right below my ear, I'm starting to do lines with these and think like your cellular connection, like bar thing, like we have like this diagonal row going down. Then I'm doing a second row with these lines beginning in between each line that we just did. I do a few rows of these and you can kind of see sort of like this angel wing effect. Then I'm doing some big large ones. It's basically the same thing except larger and I'm starting basically all the way across my chest and then sweeping upwards. You'll notice like when you're doing a lot more of the white paint stacked on top of itself, eventually the white just begins to disappear and you can't really see anything that resembles a wing. So what I started to do is to make sure that you can still tell the difference between each layer is I was mixing in a little bit of silver paint to darken it up. And then once I've darkened it, then the next layer would be just plain white paint. So we're able to, to still get the effect that we want without it just disappearing into itself. Once I completed that side, then I did basically the same thing on the other side. Once I was done with my wings, then we're gonna zoom in and we're going to use probably my favorite detail brush in the whole world. This is by Cryolin. And we're gonna make some tears. The first bit of white paint that we put down to get just kind of the general shape of the tears and they're just kind of like wavy and just kind of like flowy blobs. Um, I have the white a little bit watered down because I'm going to do something else with the white in a moment. I made sure that the designs for the tears on each of my eyes were not identical. Once I have those basic shapes down, then I go in with a little bit stronger white paint and I apply just a swipe of stronger white paint on just one side where like I would think that the tear would be a little bit heavier as it hangs. Once I did that, I applied a little bit of gray eyeshadow to like around the middle of the tears, like where maybe there would be kind of a shadow on the inside, like it's darker. Once I had like that little kind of grayish spot in each tear, then I used uh, an angled brush, like a really thin, really stiff angled brush. And I used a little bit of black eyeshadow and I put a little shadow right underneath uh, where like this, that really strong part of the tear is like where we put that really strong white swoop. I'm putting a little shadow underneath that. So I'm going to reuse that angled brush that we just used for the shading on the tears. And I'm going in kind of softly with this black eyeshadow into my natural face creases because I want to kind of have this permanent look of kind of sadness and frustration on my face. So make some crazy faces and just fill in your face's natural wrinkles. It's okay to put the eyeshadow on a little bit too strong because as you'll see in a moment, once we have like some stuff lined out, then I'm going to use kind of this smaller eyeshadow brush from Made You Look and we're gonna go and like buff in and kind of soften those out. And for a little while there, it's just kind of back and forth where you use the angle brush and then you soften it and then some more angle brush and then you soften it until you get what you want. Once I did my forehead, then I decided to fill in my nasolabial folds. These are also sometimes called like your parentheses lines. It's like, you know, the lines on either side of your nose. I'm again filling those in with the angle brush and then softening it. One of the last things we're gonna do, I took the angle brush again and I got into the black eyeshadow again. I decided to raise the inner corners of my eyebrows because I wanted it to sort of look like my eyebrows were permanently like in a sad shape. So like the inside is higher up and the, the outside of them is like lower down. So just like make, make a face of sadness and just kind of like try to imitate what your eyebrow shape is. And then I'm finishing this up with some vivid matte liquid uh, lip in gray. And there we go. Thanks so much for watching this video. Whatever day it is that you're seeing this, I hope you're having a good one and I will see you the next time I do video stuff.